Hi, this is Jeanette and today I'm reviewing a gorgeous sentimental product called First Baby Shoes. So we all know how exciting those first steps for baby are, but imagine if you could then hand make your very own um, first pair of shoes for baby to go walking in. That's exactly what today's product is. So I've just received this darling package all the way from Poland and that's the first baby shoe. So in here, okay, so this is what it comes like. Um, there's a little label inside the box there so you can fill in the information, the baby's name, date of birth, and a few of their different milestones. And these shoes are made by, are made with love by, you can sign your name there. So you can make them for your own baby or a gift for a friend or um, a gift for a new expectant mother, I think is a lovely idea. This um, is what the end product will look like. So that's the Caro model and we've got it in pink and these are the instruction booklet. So it comes with a few different pieces here. I'm just going to pop the box down and I'll hold each piece up for you. Um, so I guess this is the body of the shoe. One. And then the soles are like this. So this is the outer sole. The outer sole is made from a um, stereo gum, it's called, and it's attached to cow leather. So that's light but still flexible and a good grip on the soles. And then the inner sole is made from latex, which is attached to pig skin. So what do you need to look for when you're buying a baby shoe, I guess is a good question to start. And actually, when babies start walking, they don't really need shoes. Inside in particular, um, experts say that we should let them go bare feet because they use their little toes to grip on the floor. So what you do need in a shoe for outdoors is something that's going to protect your baby's foot from the outdoor elements something that's going to be soft and flexible but also going to have a good grip on the sole and that's exactly what First Baby Shoes offer. The length of the shoe is about 12 centimetres which is the average size for a 9 to 15 month old which is about the age when Bubs is going to start walking. Also in the box is some leather lace and they even supply the needles and the thread. So I'm going to have a crack at making these. It looks pretty simple. It's nice that um, there's not too many pieces to put together. Um, if I do get stuck on the website firstbabyshoes.com, they've also got video tutorials to help you through the making process. The shoe that I'm sewing here is the Caro design, but there's two other styles of make your own shoes on the First Baby Shoes website. So this is sort of a bit of a um, girly type sandal one. It comes in pink and yellow. And the other styles are a bit more sort of a traditional shoe type look. So if you want one for boys, they're probably a bit more boyish, the ones on the website, rather than these ones here. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a basic running stitch that I'm using to sew all the bits together. Um, but you do have to have two needles going at the same time. So, so far I'm finding it fairly simple. I did have to undo a little bit at the beginning because I didn't read the instructions properly and then I got on the website and did have a look at their tutorial videos which were really, really useful. Um, but the good news is they're so simple and the, you know, the part that I did wrong that I had to undo didn't leave any effect or any marks, so if you do muck it up, it's not too bad. So we're just sewing the sole onto the top part now, because I've stitched up all at the back there, and sewing the main part onto the sole, and then we have to put all these bits together. So I'm just popping the inner sole in now. Um, I've tied all the top bits together and that'll just finish it off once I've popped the inner sole in. So I'm pretty stoked with that. It's a gorgeous little shoe. Look at that. So it's a lovely little sandal with the ankle strap um, and it's breathable so air can get in through here which makes it nice and working with the leather it is so nice and soft and supple and here at Baby Must Haves we love 
natural and eco, so it's nice to know that um, these shoes are not only handmade, but handmade from beautiful natural leather. The only thing I would say about this design is that the ankle strap isn't adjustable, so if that's a concern for you, if you need to be able to adjust the ankle strap, depending if Bubby's got like thin ankles or chubby ankles, I'm not sure how well this will fit once Bubby is of the right age to wear these shoes. So some of the other designs on the website might be more suitable because there's just a lace-up style um, and a little sort of booty one. So I'll put some pictures up of the other styles as well so you can check them out. Wow, well look at that. I am feeling pretty chuffed with myself I must say. Just made my first ever shoe. Um, it took about 45 minutes from go to while, including reading the instructions twice and watching the tutorial video and a little, just a little bit of unpicking and redoing. And you all know that we love eco and natural products here at Baby Must Have, so it's nice knowing that it is made from all natural leather. Not only that, but it is 100% made with love and I think my baby is really going to love these. Um, I'm not sure who's going to love them more. Actually, I'm going to love seeing my baby wear these when they <laughs> when he starts walking. So, absolutely divine. Highly recommend um, if you want something really special as a gift to your child or for a new mum, expecting mum, or even for a sibling to do for a baby brother and sister. Really, really user-friendly. User um, I think even an older child could absolutely make these from the kit. So... Head over there to firstbabyshoes.com, find out all about them, how you can order them and all that sort of jazz there at your fingertips. Happy crafting!